that. We start our first day of PPR previews at the home of the Open Division and state champs. Now, if you think losing Rod Robinson will stop the CIF champs, well, then I think you misunderstand what Lincoln High is trying to build around here. They got one of the best quarterbacks in the country, more on that later, an improved receiver core, and they're still pretty heavy in the pass rush. They also got a stacked schedule, start the season in Hawaii, Trinity League action in the non-conference, and the always tough Western League. Last year, having to sit behind Roger Robinson, I mean, obviously sitting behind a guy like that, that's an unreplaceable experience. He taught me so much about the game and just being a running back in general, but it's my turn now and I'm ready to step in myself and make a reputation for myself and my name. Back to back, we're going back to back again, no question. Uh, we got some dogs out here. Uh, we're building up a new team full of young cats, but then <laughs> they're some dogs. <laughs> they're some dogs for sure. So you can get another repeat out of us. and. Uh, you guys are going to get the best out of us this season. <laughs> Every game. <laughs> Every game circled on the calendar for sure. We have a bounty on us. They want us. I know all my brothers, we're all excited. A lot of people think we lost everybody, think we're not going to be as good, but we have a surprise for not just all of San Diego, but all the state. We, we have a lot of people that people don't know about yet, and we're excited to show up. We're excited to do our stuff. Just be ready. We're ready to spin it back. We're ready to come for whatever's coming our way. We're ready for it. And speaking of Lincoln, there is some news with this football team. You know, back in 1998, a man named Akili Smith threw for 3,700 yards and 32 touchdowns with the Oregon Ducks on the way to becoming the number three overall pick in the 99 draft. So, is anybody surprised that the son of the Southeast legend is also on his way to Eugene? Of course, Akili Smith Jr. choosing the Ducks today as his college of choice. Hornet quarterback, pretty good. Number one ranked dual threat QB in the class of 2025. Honestly, just the same thing, family aspect. Uh, Coach Dan Lanning always preaching uh, family aspect. Um, that's like a big thing for me in my recruitment process. Like there were constant pressure on me. So uh, they were just always in my ear, always on my phone, just texting me, making sure that I know that they want me there. So that was like a big thing for me too. I wanna, I wanna do better than my, than my pops. I wanna make sure that like, his name is known for sure, but I want to make sure that my name is known as well, um, Akeem Smith Jr. instead of Akeem Smith um, Sr. So that's like that's like the main plan for me, and also just um, just carrying on my legacy, making sure that um, everything's going well for me.